Okay. Consolidation data analysis using the Taylor square root of time fitting method. Alright, example number two. So this is another kind of the data that we that were recorded from an odometer test. As you can see here, the data shown here is different with the previous uh, example of the data analysis. Here we have the data during one of the loading stage, only one of the loading stage. Okay, as you can see here, we have the time and also the change in thickness. The time taken here, it starts from 0, 0.00 and then it will end at 1440 minutes which is equivalent to 24 hours so only for one loading stage meaning that for the next day for another additionals of loading you will have another set of this kind of the data for the next loading so uh, at the end of the last stage here the thickness of the specimen was 17.53 so the stress has been raised by 100 kN per meter square means that for the next day for the next day all right the 100 will become 200 because the stress must be double in a value of double okay and the water content was 24.7 percent from this one day data uh, recorded okay now since this is the we need to determine the coefficients of consolidation using square root time method so we have to use the square root time method so we need to prepare this data first this data in time minute and change fitness so how to prepare this data before we use the uh, square root time method so this is how we will do all the time given in minutes okay we need to square root the time value means that for example here 0 0.04 we square root this 0 0.04 it will become 0 0.20 for example here, square root time of 1, it will become 1. Square root time of 4, it will become 2 until you square root 1440 here, it will become 37.95. So once you complete this one, so we're ready to plot the data. So how to plot the data? Okay, prepare the graph paper with the y-axis is the change in thickness. And the x-axis is the square root time value. Alright, so you can see here that the time minimum lowest value is 0 and the maximum value is 37.95. So prepare the suitable scale to ensure that you can plot all the data on a graph. And then the change in thickness will start at 0 0.00 and the change in thickness final is 1.482. Alright, so we prepare the suitable scale, alright, to ensure that we have the all the plots here. So once you plot, this is how it should like. This is how the pattern of the plot. Okay, now it's actually from this plot, we need to identify the T90. What is T90? The time taken to achieve 90% consolidation. So... By using the graphical method and also the calculation method. Alright, so now we need to identify the T90%. Alright, so again, this is the plot. So to start, alright, so the first step is you have the this red line. So the this red line will tangent to the first part of the curve. Okay, at the upper part of the curve. Alright, and then ensure that the red line will intersect at y axis here. And you can see there is an intersection point, okay, between the red line here and the y axis. Alright, so from this point of intersection, we label as point A, draw a horizontal line and label this one as U initial. For u equal to 0, the degree of consolidations all right, will equal to 0, not start yet. Alright, so the change in thickness here, record here, label kan, 0 0.12 mm. Just read through from the y-axis, 0.12 mm. Okay, then what's next? Okay, now knowing that the delta H final is 1.482, we have the point is here. So what we need to do is draw a horizontal line pass through this point. And this is the 
change in fine change in thickness final all right so now okay now now we need to use your ruler okay on your graph on your plot on your graph paper on this plot okay use your own ruler measure manually the length that in a pink color here okay measure it manually all right so previously we have this horizontal line that pass through the delta h 1.482 and then we need to measure manually this length all right manually this length for example we have the xcm the xcm centimeter measured manually this length using your own ruler using your own pembaris measured manually what cm is here let's say xcm here and then knowing the xcm we need to extend another 0 0.15 cm x here okay let's say you have 3 cm here so you need to extend another 0 0.15 times with 3 cm okay measure another 0 0.15 times x cm here and then mark that point because we need to draw another line that intercept at point y a here okay you will have another line in a green color of line intersect at point a here okay so this is uh, the another step this is the another green line okay the intersect at point a right so now look at this green line okay we look for the intersection between this green line with the plot okay so there is an intersection between this green line with a with the plot so from this intersection point draw a horizontal line so this is the line that shows for u 90 percent u is a symbol for the degree of consolidation so this is the change in thickness where the soil sample achieve or reach 90% consolidation. Okay, so now as mentioned here that this plot is to uh, identify the T90%, the time taken to achieve 90% degree of consolidation. So from this point here, going up and then read through from the x-axis. So what is the value here? It's around 4 minutes. So this is the square root time value, 4 minutes. So now what we need to do is to get the actual T90. So we need to power of 2 this value to get the T90 actual, which is 16 minutes. Okay, which is the 16 minutes. Okay, now we already know the T90. Alright, so before we proceed to the CV value, we need to identify where is the U at 100%. So to get the U at 100%, you can use this calculation knowing that the delta H 90% is at 1.12 minus with the delta H naught 0.12 and divide by 0 0.90. This represents 90% actually, so 0 0.90 and then plus with the delta H naught to, to get the exact location. Alright, now once you calculate, you will have the delta H 100% 1.24. So find through y-axis where is 1.24 and draw a, a horizontal line here. So this is the line for u 100%. So now we complete u0, u90% and u100%.